welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film this look for you guys. So this coming weekend, March 11th, is my birthday. So I wanted to do a birthday makeup look and I kind of started off with like a simple, much more simple like pinky birthday look which you know, is normally what I would go for, but um, yeah, it ended up becoming like a birthday glam. Uh, I really wanted to try out my cut crease skills today, apparently. Um, this was my first time testing out my cut crease skills, and that is probably why it doesn't look perfect, but uh, I'm still pretty proud of how it turned out. Not, it's not too terrible, but um, yeah, if, if, <laughs> if it's a little wonky, then <laughs> that's why. And also, these lashes have popped off so many times, I don't know what's, what's going on there, but ignore all of that. If you were planning on going to, I guess, the club or something for your birthday, this would be it. Fun fact, I have never been to a club before ever in my life and I'm old well I'm going to be old on March 11th and very quickly I want to wish all of the March babies and birthday twins out there March 11th babies a very happy birthday you guys are awesome I just wanted to let you know typically for my birthday I usually go for a look that is actually very similar to my sexy Valentine's Day look, which uh, I will post down below so you guys can go check it out. And while you're checking out that video, you might as well subscribe. Subscribing is absolutely free, just in case you were wondering. And this is my birthday, so it'll be like the best birthday gift ever. I really wanna do something fun this year, but I don't know what to do i would love to hear your suggestions what did you do for your birthday any march babies out there what are y'all going to do for your birthday because um all i got so far is uh sitting at home and uh getting a bunch of food and watching like a disney marathon i don't know but that's like a typical weekend so i don't, I don't know anyways if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So my eyes are already primed, so we are just going to jump straight into the eyeshadow. So first I'm taking my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking this shade called Buon Fresco and buffing it into the crease. I wanted the look to be more pink, so I added the color Love Letter into the crease as well. Then, taking a black eyeshadow, I very carefully applied it to my outer crease for more depth. And as you can see, I slowly started to blend the eyeshadow in a cat eye shape. This look is all about blending, so just take your time and blend, blend, blend. I'm just using a clean crease brush here to blend away any harsh edges. Okay, so now comes the difficult part, the cut crease. I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer for this because this was the thickest concealer that I had and you want a thicker concealer to cut the crease. And I'm actually using a lip brush for extra precision. Use very small padding motions and just take your time and don't rush through this. You got this girl, I know you got this. Now, jumping into my Desert Dusk palette, I'm going to apply the shade Cashmere to set the concealer. And I actually ended up using some setting spray to foil the shadow a little bit more. Then taking a small blending brush, I blended the black shadow into the Cashmere shadow for a more seamless transition. To brighten and lift my brow bone, I went back into the Modern Renaissance palette and applied the shade Tempera. And then I used this Ofra You Glow Girl highlight as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. I also dragged the highlight 
to the inner third of my bottom lash line to open up my eyes more. For the rest of my bottom lash line, I used the same colors as I did on my lid. Juan Fresco, then Love Letter, and then black on the outer bottom lash line. Next, using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner, I created a wing. Now, taking this Vintage Cosmetics Black Pencil Liner, I lined my waterline and tightlined with it as well. As usual, I wanted to add glitter, and this is a birthday look, so of course it needed glitter. So I'm taking my NYX Silver Liquid Crystal Liner, and I'm first lining right above my black winged liner, and then I decided to trace the edge of the cut crease with the glitter liner as well. And make sure to allow the glitter to dry well or else it will smudge all over the place. To fill in my brows, I'm using the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. Then I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Tarte Tardiest Mascara. I also popped on these Kiss Lashes in the style Camellias. These were like one of my last pairs of lashes that I had left, but they did the job. Now moving on to the face, I'm actually going to use two primers. I'm first going in with the Benefit Professional and I'm using this on my T-zone. And then I'm using the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. For foundation, I'm using the Benefit Oxygen Wow Foundation in the shade I'm So Money, Honey. And I'm mixing in a few drops of this Temptu and BoxyCharm Liquid Glow Highlight. Then I'm going in with my trusty Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. To set down the concealer, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. And to set down the rest of my face, I'm using the Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm using this Contour and Highlight Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using one of my favorite blushes in my collection. This is the Studio Makeup Blush in Wildflower. This blush lasts so long on my skin. It's amazing. To highlight my face, I'm going back in with this Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl Highlight, which is actually one of my favorite highlighters in my collection. For my lips, I'm going to use this Essence Lip Liner in Honey Berry. And in the center of my lips, I'm adding this Real Her Liquid Lipstick in Lady Love to create a slight ombre effect. And finally, I'm setting my face with the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!